Hey guys, it's the Fibroid Doc and welcome to Fibroid Fridays. Today I'm going to answer the question, does a hysterectomy put me into menopause? I was just having this conversation with a patient today in the office and she told me, well, you know, I have fibroids, I'm thinking of a hysterectomy, but I guess it's, you know, it's going to put me in menopause, into menopause. And that is totally not true. This is a misconception. It is a myth that is being perpetuated out there over and over again. So let's just go over the terminology. A hysterectomy means removal of the uterus. That's all it means. A total hysterectomy means removing the uterus plus the cervix, which is um, the um, area that connects um, the uterus to the vagina. Okay, so a hysterectomy has nothing to do with removing the fallopian tubes. It has nothing to do with removing the ovaries. Those are two separate surgeries. Now, oftentimes they're done together. So a lot of women think a hysterectomy means removing everything, your uterus, your fallopian tubes, your cervix, and all of that, and all your female parts, essentially, um, in the abdomen. But that is not true. And I think this prevents a lot of women from getting a hysterectomy for fibroids if they are the right candidate. Um, so you can definitely get a hysterectomy for fibroids, you know, regardless of your age, um, while still keeping your ovaries intact. Um, we do not want to remove those early on. We know that the ovaries produce estrogen and are helpful for brain health, bone health, heart health, all the way up to age 65. So we do not want to prematurely remove them for any reason. So I hope this clears it up and let me know if you have any questions.